Tunji Ojo needs protection as monstrous passport cabal fights back. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. It is not a coincidence. No, and we members of the Renewed Hope Collective, RHC, saw it coming. We didn't know it would be so soon. The monstrous cab passport cabal is half time for daring to break their stranglehold on long deliberate delays in passport production, which was costing the country billions of dollars in foreign exchange, but was hugely profitable to the cabal. Tundi Ojo belongs to an unavailable select group of change makers who predictably would incur the rough and ferocious resistance of the sectoral cabals profiting from the existing bundus operandi in their need of cleansing. The minister reminds one of the late chief Bola Ige who promised to turn stone into bread in the power sector, having been appointed minister of power by former President Olushegu of Basanjo. But his talk and work suggested that he was indeed going to turn things around. But the powerful and desperate energy sector cabal frustrated his effort until he was eased out. Another goal getter who had to fight for a sectoral cabal tooth and nail was the late Brof Dora Akonyili when she was the Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ. There was nothing the cabal in the food and drug sector did not do either to sabotage her or to sabotage her effort or eliminate her. Death threats, charms, and attempted assassination were regular occurrences just because the woman was determined to rid Nigeria of, of fake product. Tunji Ojo is their latest target. The cabal has been making a mountain of the molehill of the alleged involvement of new planet project limited in their world of contrast by the suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation, Dr. Beta Edu. They have smelt blood and sharks that they are, they are coming for the interior minister. Indeed, Tunji Ojo founded a company 10 years ago but he resigned from directorship in 2019 when he contested for the House of Representatives and has not been involved in the management of a company since. On the channel's television program on Monday night, he produced a certificate copy of Corporate Affairs as far back as 2019 to prove this. He is also not a signatory to the accounts of a company and his creditors have not shown any proof that he was a direct beneficiary of the contract awarded to the company. It is precisely to avoid a potentially legally untenable situation as envisaged in the civil service regulation that a minister resigned his appointment in the company five years ago. In only a few months since he was appointed minister, see the list of his achievement. He elevated the Ministry of Interior from a mere public holiday declaring office to a proper result-oriented supervising ministry. He announced a two-week timeline for processing passport application, promised a commencement of home and office delivery of passports to applicants from February 2024, and kept his promise and scored the first PR points for the government. Threatened to commence the execution of the principle of reciprocity in international relations by halting the visa on arrival of privilege granted foreign nationals whose countries subject Nigeria to rigorous visa application processes. Commence personal upload of passport photographs on I on IS passport application portal and establish a more e passport offices in Europe. Led the advocacy for fair compensation for paramil paramilitary officers, insisting that their salaries must align with those of Nigeria public force personnel. Commence arrangements to set up a functional pension board for paramilitary personnel as a mechanism to secure the future. Cleared fines and compensation worth 585 million naira for 4,068 inmates nationwide on account of their inability to pay the fines as penalties for crimes committed, all in an effort at prison decongestion. Improved operational capacities of agencies and parastatals under his ministry to the extent that popular governance, policy and strategic management expert Dr. Joe Abba documented the pleasant outcome of his random visit to the Nigerian Immigration Service headquarters. The cabal is not blind. The cabal was to destroy what is fierce, 
positive change. The Renewed Hope Collective, RHC, wants to want the public to know that it is the passport cabal that is behind the company of calumny against Tunjuju and nothing more, nothing less. We urge President Tunumbu GCFR to maintain focus on steadfast and the implementation of this Renewed Hope agenda, but to be mindful of beheaded snakes in the system who do not wish him and the country well. The fight is bigger than Tunjuju, bigger than his office, and bigger than the ministry. The president who sent him on this mission for renewed hope must protect him from a monstrous cabal that threatens to swallow him alive. Renew Hope Collective, Abuja, and in diaspora, Mungona Street, Kubwa, Abuja. Well, let me tell you people, I do not know what to say, but if you are going to be exonerating Tunjik or Joe, what about the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation? If you are coming out to say this man is going to be, is not guilty, then I am saying the way you have said he's not guilty, fast, fast. You should also come outside and say, you should come outside and, what am I saying? How sure are you? Have the investigation proven to be so? Because the last we heard is the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs that the investigation is ongoing. For you to come outside and say not guilty, how is he, how are you not guilty? That means if you're going to take his word for it, then as well, the better aid should be his award to be taken for it. Now, hold on before you come for me. I'm only saying the measure that you're giving to this person should be given to this person. You did not take this person's word for it. Oh, I am not, I am not guilty. I am innocent. They're trying to frame me up. They're trying to rubbish my reputation and my character. Then why are you not taking better? That is where I am coming from. The measure you give to this person, if you're going to take one person's word over another, mm-mm. It is not done that way. For justice to be really, really given eh, or accorded to these ministries, both of them should go through rigorous investigation. And those in the investigative, uh, what's it called? In the investigative, um, should I say, panel, should be people who are independent, people who are not going to be there. They cannot reach and say, bro, Safana, make I see you. No. That is what I'm trying to say. So if you are going to say to Njojo, who he accounts? According to them, they said the company he was running before, they passed it through there. The money, they passed the money to there. Me, I'm also saying better aid you deserve to be given this kind of, as they come as an account stand for this man back. They should also stand for better, uh, better aid you back. That is what I'm saying. The same, uh, what's it called? The same, uh, what's it called? Um, benefit of doubt given to Tunjojo should also be given to better aid you. I do not understand. All these lies have nothing to do with Ojo's involvement of receiving public funds under fraudulent manner. Ojo should be prosecuted. That is, if you are going to serve better, that is what I'm saying. If you are going to be serving better, I do, you know, sharp, sharp, you don't come outside to say, see what thing she do, see what thing she do, see what thing. All those are, her accomplices should be given the same punishment. No, uh, now my brother be this, oh, now my kinsman. Mm -mm. That is what I'm saying. If you are investigating better Udu and everybody is already dragging her, let them investigate Tunjojo as well. Do not take his word for it. Investigate him unless those who are going to be in the investigative panel of both parties be independent of anybody reaching out to them to see how far bros make us see you now. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen and like come your way next time. Enjoy.